Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over how to take your files from Adobe Illustrator to Adobe After Effects. There's a couple reasons you might want to do this. One, you have an existing logo that you want to bring into After Effects to animate. Uh, two, sometimes I personally find uh, Adobe Illustrator a little bit easier to uh, do design in uh, over After Effects. After Effects is a more animation-centric software. And to me, it's a little bit easier to design in Illustrator, which is more focused at the design side of things. So being able to go between Illustrator and After Effects easily can really improve workflows. So yeah, let's jump into it. The first thing you're gonna do is open up your Illustrator file if you already have something designed. Um, currently, I'm working in the typography workspace, so if you want your screen to match mine, uh, just switch over to typography. Next, you'll go over to layers and drop down uh, your first layer so you can see all the paths that you have. You'll click on the button to the top right of your layer, uh, which will select all the pieces of that layer. From there, you'll pull up your panel and select release layers to sequence. So that'll release all your vectors into their own layer. From there, what you can do is select all of those using a shift select and drag them outside of your layer one. From there, you're just going to want to delete that first layer because it will now be empty using that little trash can in the lower right corner. And from here, it's always best practice to uh, name our layers so that way when we're working in After Effects and you know things can get pretty cluttered pretty quickly, uh, we can easily skim through all of our different layers and um, it keeps things a lot more organized. Once you've separated your file out onto different layers, uh, I'll save the document and then move over to After Effects. In After Effects, we'll click New Project. Once you've created a new project, you'll go to File, Import, File, or you can click Command-I as a, a keyboard shortcut. From there, you'll find your file of separated layers and select it. And the important part here is in the Import As, you're going to want to click the drop-down and click Composition, Retain Layer Sizes. That'll separate everything onto different layers once they're brought into After Effects. From here, just click Open. Once you click open, it'll create a composition that you can see up here, same name as uh, whatever you saved your Illustrator document as. And you see below that uh, everything is on its own layer, um, but as an Illustrator file. Really quick, I'm gonna change this background to white by going to composition settings and then changing my background color because it's a little hard to see what we're doing right now. But then from there, what we'll do is select all of our Illustrator layers and then go up to layer, then down to create, and then create shapes from vector layer. What that's gonna do is create a bunch of shapes for you, um, and it'll leave the existing Illustrator file layers. Uh, so what you're gonna have to do is actually go through and manually delete each one of those. So uh, on Mac, you'll do command click on each of the layers. On Windows, it'll be control click. But this will allow you to quickly delete all of the unnecessary layers and leave you with just shapes, which you can go forth and animate however you please. So this has been a super quick, easy way to bring your file from Illustrator to After Effects. Um, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, if you found it to be helpful, it would be awesome if you'd subscribe and stick around for future videos. Thanks.